In this new section, we're going to learn about a new type of deep learning model called the ResNet model. This is a type of residual learning for image recognition. This section will be divided into four different lessons. In the first lesson, we will learn about loading and exploring the Flower dataset, which is an image classification dataset for object detection. In the second lesson, we're going to learn about the ResNet architecture. We're going to cover the residual skip connections, and we're going to learn about bottleneck blocks. In the third lesson, we're going to implement the ResNet model using the TensorFlow Keras API. And finally, in the fourth lesson, we're going to train and evaluate our ResNet model on our Flower dataset. We're going to load and explore our Flower dataset. So this Flower dataset is a computer vision dataset for object recognition. Therefore, this is an image classification task. Our dataset is, consists of colored images of flowers of various sizes. In this specific version of this dataset, we're going to cover five different classes of flowers. And we're going to have about 700 images per classes. Let's jump right into the notebook. So let's first start by importing some libraries. So we're going to import TensorFlow and Matplotlib and a few other things. Next, I've provided you with the helper function to download and uncompress the Flower dataset. So you can use this URL to download a specific version of the Flower dataset. I've already downloaded and uncompressed the dataset for you because this line takes a bit of time to run. Now we're going to load our Flower images into a Python dictionary. First, we're going to loop through all the subdirectories and then we're going to load the image files based on their class name. So let's do that right now. We're going to call this data dictionary and then we're going to load our image files and we're going to give it the base directory. We were able to load our five different classes. We've got daisies, dandelions, roses, sunflowers and tulips. And for each class, we have about 700 images. Next, we're going to plot our image into a grid to explore our dataset. So I've provided you with this helper plotting function that will plot 16 images in a 4x4 grid. Let's give it a try. So we're going to loop over our dictionary, which is composed of a class name and images in data dictionary. And then we're going to iterate over the items of that dictionary. So for every item, we're going to print the name of the flower type. So in that case, that's the class name. And then finally, we're going to plot our images into a grid. So we're going to take our images. And since this is a 4x4 grid, we're going to take the first 16 images. So here we can see the first class, which are tulips. So we can see in this data set that the images varies a lot. We've got close up of the images or flowers taken from far away, from different angles, different colors. We can also look at the roses. So you can see that this dataset is not straightforward. For example, these images, I'm not sure why they were classified as roses. So I would imagine that even for a human, this is a challenging dataset and the human will probably not get 100% accuracy. And so this is definitely a challenging image dataset for our model, but it's still pretty possible. We also have dandelions, which are both white and yellow. We've got sunflowers, we've got yellow sunflowers and red sunflowers. And finally, we've got the daisies. Now that we have explored our flower dataset, we will now focus on splitting our dataset into a training and validation set. So this first helper function will help you create a new directory for the training or validation set and copy files into it. Next, the training validation split method will loop over our data dictionary and split our data based on the split ratio. The first fraction of the images will be saved in the validation set, and the second fraction of those images will be saved in the training set. Once we have a training and validation set, we can then save those images into our directory. We've got one directory for the training set and another directory for our validation set. Let's run this function. We've got our train validation split. We're going to pass in our base directory, our data dictionary, and then our split ratio. So let's set our split ratio to 20%. That means that 20% of the data will go in the validation set 
and 80% of the data will go into training sets. We can see that we've created 10 directories for the training and validation set for each type of flowers. We've got the tulips, the roses, dandelions, sunflowers, and daisies. And we can see that we have about 500 images for the training set and 150 images for the validation set.